New developments in the Tehachapi Love Triangle murder case charges against Sabrina Lamone now providing a clearer understanding of why she is now facing that first degree murder charge. Tonight, 23 ABC's Ken Asenshi looked over the charges and now joins us live from the courthouse. Ken. Yeah, Tim and Jackie, those charges providing basic answers to questions that Robert Lamone's family has been struggling with since his death, including Sabrina allegedly poisoning Robert months before he was killed, as well as Sabrina possibly being the mastermind of it all. We have asked for the truth to be told since August, and it has been told. And that's that's what we're praising today. The truth has been told. The truth, something Chris Wilson and other members of Robert Lamone's family have wanted from Sabrina since Robert's death in August 2014. It's like when my brother died, it's like she made it seem like the Lamones don't exist anymore. Sabrina's charges are providing those answers. While the document obtained by 23 ABC News today says that Hearn pulled the trigger and shot Robert. What is your plea? It also alleges that Sabrina recruited Hearn to help kill her husband. The charges say that Hearn bought poison four months before shooting Robert, and Sabrina allegedly used the poison sometime in the following month. The story she told just wasn't right. Nothing, we weren't comfortable with what we were hearing from Sabrina. And Sabrina just refused to talk to us. The relationship between Sabrina and Lamone's family isn't the only one that appears to have gone sour. At Hearn's plea hearing on Monday, his attorney speculated that the former lover's relationship is tarnished as well. I would expect it's not a very good one at this point. He just agreed to provide testimony in the trial, and that it seems to me that that would be crucial evidence for the prosecutor against her. That evidence is the truth the Lamone family says they've been searching for. She's going to have to sit there and think about what she has done. And that's what we have to be thankful for. She's behind bars. Jonathan, he told the truth and prayers have been answered. More in-depth answers to the poisoning as well as Sabrina's role in Robert's death will be made available at her preliminary hearing here in two weeks. Live from the courthouse, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC. Okay.